Hey, what's up, everybody? Um, this is Millman Music at the Beat Canvas Studio. I appreciate you tuning in. I hope you're staying safe and everything is sufficient for you. Um, today, I was in Studio One, and I came across something that pretty much answered the problem for me that I was in uh, Reason. Uh, I think it is only in Reason that I've experience it. I've used Ableton, FL Studio, and Studio One, and it actually works fine in there. Um, this problem being that Cakewalk, I have the Cakewalk through the Band Lab Assistant, and it offers shared instruments and shared effects. And these are actually pretty good for them being stock. Um, and I wanted to use them inside of Reason, but the only problem is, is once I open it up, as you can see here, it just gives the GUI bar. Now, it still works. It still works, but if you ever use Cakewalk or any of uh, the shared instruments, you know that it has additional uh, presets and different sounds that you can use. Um, I reached out to Reason Cakewalk. Uh, Reason told me that I need to contact Cakewalk. It took me a minute to contact Cakewalk, and as of now, I still haven't heard anything back from them. Um, actually, um, I'll check my email later on just to see if they had anything to say. But uh, up until that point, up until this point, uh, I had no fix for that. Uh, until I came across uh, Complete Control. Now, disclaimer, this is a pretty good instrument by itself the sounds that it offers, but it also is CPU heavy. So if you cannot get this to work, um, then it will pretty much be left into the hands of Cakewalk if they have a solution for that. Or even if they, you know, care whether or not you're using it in a different DAW uh, to where you can change anything. But I have it loaded up here in complete control and all you do is when you load it up, it'll give you the option to choose either the instruments or you can pick files from your own um, computer or your own drive, or you can load up v uh, VSTs. May they be VSTIs or effects. So you just click the arrow and the eternal is what they offer. And Native Instruments has the contact the Reek 6 and it also has the kinetic uh, version, but it's included with the control, so you won't. That is pretty much what all these instruments are dealing with uh, right off the bat. But if you go down to wherever you have Cakewalk at, you see it offers that. Now, if I click on the drum, now you can see the GUI and... I was picked on the wrong one, so let me delete this. And now you can use it. But what I really wanted to do was that it has a drop down browser menu that has a lot more presets. Okay. And even with that, it has their own little patterns. So it comes in handy when you can choose different types. And that is pretty much a fix for this that I found, at least that I'm going to use as long as I have the complete control. Um, like I said, it is CPU heavy. Uh, it will be better if you have a computer that at least has 500 uh, gigabytes of uh, uh, of drive space and at least more than four or eight gigabytes of RAM. It will, you will tell the CPU usage even at eight gigabytes, um, but it won't be as harsh just by itself. Um, if you're just like for me, I just, if I wanted the different sounding kick or uh, that type of rim shot, that type of snare. And then I just work with the waveform. Um, then just it by itself. But if you have like 20 tracks and, you know, five of these that are complete control, you will notice 
the uh, CPU uh, harshness to it. Uh, other than that, now that I know that, I'm going to try to see if other issues that I've been having actually will work in a... a uh, it's funny because it's an internal VST, but it has external capabilities. So I'm going to see if it'll work with any other VSTi or VST problem I've been having. I actually want to try the 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 video player to see if it works a lot more smoother in there uh, rather than the one that only plays 30 seconds of a video unless you buy the full version uh, but other than that I hope this helps out I don't know if I was the only one having the issue or if anybody else even really cared about it but just in case uh, try to get your complete control if not then Using Cakewalk is perfectly fine. It is actually a very good program. Also, you can uh, score music to a video. It actually loads up the video clips and everything. And on top of that, it's a free program. So just for those that are Reason users, this is just a fix I, uh, I found. And maybe it'll be an answer to a lot of other questions that, you know, been uh, associated with your favorite VST. Other than that, Hope you have a good one. Stay safe. And remember, everything that you do will always seem like work until you put God first.